Good morning, it's Thursday, and you have Rich with AOK Product Reviews. Quick reminder, if you like, comment, and subscribe, virtually on any video, it will qualify you for the giveaway that week. Anyway, after that, you'll be subscribed. Now, making yourself relevant is very important. You've got to communicate with me, comment. It's not a random selection on my giveaway. My giveaway is I want to give to the people that are most interactive. I want to give to the people that are really genuinely involved in my channel. So this week's giveaway, week 19, I give away knives once a week, every week. Monday I announce the knife, through the week I'll kind of make this kind of video maybe, maybe a short or two, and then Friday I award the knife to the subscriber that conversated the most with, that wanted to tell me why they deserve the knife or man I really like that knife or you know just hey man I like your channel you, you know you do you do a good job or hey you're fat and you got too much hair on your face I don't care whatever tickles my fancy that week though from the subscriber that's talking to me is going to potentially win the knife that's how I do it they're my knives I say knives I do but I'm telling you right now I'll give my knives to whoever I want to give my knives to and typically that's to subscribers that want to participate and they want to be a part of this and they're not just scrolling through the internet looking for giveaways and trying to scoop up a free win it doesn't work that way on my channel folks I'm sorry I want people that I enjoy to enjoy what I have to give say that three times fast I enjoy coffee I enjoy coffee I enjoy coffee there you go three times fast artisan cutlery Ahab now artisan cutlery if you don't know who they are they are a very good very very good budget knife and above budget as well they this year's line they have some really great offerings I'll tell you that much and they always have had above budget offerings as well I would have put this above budget to some degree at one time. This was a $60, $70 knife at one time, and now that's kind of a budget knife for me when I'm talking about knives I like, knives I like. They own CJRB. If you don't know who CJRB is, you should. They make really good knives. It's kind of like... Civivi own Sencut, we own Civivi. It's some it's a semi-incestuous family of knife making when it gets down to it. A lot of these knife manufacturers do it that way. You know, I guess they just wanna they wanna offer something in the budget realm when they're maybe a high end, but they don't want to compromise their high end product and maybe give it a budget name when they want to keep that a high end. So say you got in this case, artisan cutlery, kind of a, the higher end of the, the process. And then they said, you know what, though? We want to make some knives that are budget friendly, but still very good. This is a CJRB crack. Look at that. Carbon fiber, cleaver style blade, stone washed. It's on bearings. It's got a pretty heavy blade, but it's got a little lock right, right there. Drops right shut. Pretty cool knife. I'll be giving this away later on this year. But right now, we're talking about the Artisan Cutlery Ahab. Cool knife. Harpoon blade. Full flat grind. AR9 RPM steel. Titanium pocket clip. Titanium backspacer. Deep pocket carry. Liner lock. And this cool wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is. But it's wood. And I like it. It's really fresh. It doesn't have a pivot screw on the out on the exterior of the scales, which is very interesting. Typically, you'll see one of these. See how that's like a bigger pivot screw where the blade pivots on the scale handle? This one's internal. Kind of cool. Very slicey. Slicey, slicey dice. That's the giveaway, and that's how I do it. Like, comment, subscribe, engage with me, and I'll engage back. Unless you're just dropping some generics, 
then sometimes I'll just thumbs up and heart it and then walk away. Sometimes I'll still say something. You never know what kind of mood you might catch me in. But that's my giveaway. That's what I do. Started in June, ends in the end of the year pretty much. And get this, in December, I'm going to be doing one knife a day. Yes! For 25 days straight. The 25 days of Christmas. Yeah! Yeah. And then I'll give away a knife on New Year's. And that'll be the last knife I give away this year, obviously. How do you give away another knife after New Year's? In the same year, you can't do it. Yeah, so 2024, I'll have to revisit the giveaways and decide what I'm going to do then. Pretty much giving away every knife I buy that I review. Nice. Daddy digs some serious knives. And this is a serious knife. It's cool. It can be like a, kind of like a CEO carry, kind of classy knife with the wood handle and the titanium and the really fancy harpoon blade. But it also could be, it could really be used for more purposeful situations than just carrying it in your suit pocket. I like it. There's that. Started building the treehouse with my buddy Jason. if you can call this a tree I guess you you'd have to call it a tree house it's in the trees but this thing is gonna be a tree cabin tree troll house a tree it's gonna be a little bit of everything check out these pictures and I'll just jump in some quick videos and blah 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 and some pictures this thing's gonna be a structure nothing Jason makes lacks structure that's for sure he is what I call Johnny Johnny Bow overkill yeah, I put in one screw, he puts in four. I put in one nail, he puts in five. I use two by fours, he uses four by sixes. It's just the way he goes, the way he operates. I stood there scratching my head the other day, looking at this structure he's putting up in this tree, thinking, I mean, he's gonna hold a convention. 